Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT. And in this video, I just want to showcase a little item. So one of our channel members, Drazimo, has a, a number of items that he's trying to get working. And one of them is the idea of a homebrew sacrificial shield. The, the concept being is that if you get a critical hit on your character, you can choose to basically use that shield to take the full force of that blow, uh, destroying the shield in the process, but reducing that from a critical hit down to a normal hit. Now, you may not want to use that very often, but it literally can be a life and death situation. And we had a play with it, um, and we very quickly come to the conclusion that might be a little bit beyond our capability. So uh, we recruited Gambit because <laughs> we get kind of going, Gambit could probably do this in two minutes. Uh, so we recruited Gambit and in the latest version of Gambit's pre-made, if you download that uh, and you search amongst his items, you will find this sacrificial shield item um, in his homebrew folder. So I'm just using uh, Ripper's Omni Search just to search for it, Sacrificial Shield. So I just wanted to show you um, how that works, what it does, because it's pretty cool, and then how that helps us moving forward as well, because it's not just about this one item. Uh, <clears throat> so you can obviously see I've got my two little dudes down here. Uh, and on the character sheet over here for my player, I've got that sacri Sacrificial Shield uh, on that character and I have indeed got it equipped so she's going from 13 to 15 armor class exactly what you would expect from a shield now I've tweaked this orc's uh, great axe slightly to improve the range of its criticals and now I've got the joy of, of hopefully actually managing to score a critical so you can see how that's going to work so if I roll this great axe excellent good straight away immediately does exactly what I wanted it to do so we have hit that character and we have scored a critical hit, potentially. So what Gambit's um, shield is doing here is before it's applying damage, it's interrupting the workflow, so the MIDI workflow, to say, well, hang on a minute, wait to see what the answer to this question is. Would I like to destroy the shield to prevent a critical hit? So we're giving the player the option. It doesn't automatically destroy their shield every time because you wouldn't want that. Notice that there's no damage rolled yet either. So the player can't be doing anything sneaky like, let's look how much damage it was. Oh, they rolled a one, you know, <laughs> so let's not worry about sacrificing the shield. They've got to make this decision beforehand. So let's say yes. <coughs> and we note only one damage dice rolls. Um, and we've got it up the top here on the card. 1d12 was the damage. Now, in this case, that's plenty enough to kill this individual character. But it <clears throat> turned that critical hit into a normal hit. And if we look on the character sheet for this person, ignore them. We just resurrect them quickly. <laughs> there we go. Um, we no longer have that working sacrificial shield. It's now sacrificial shield broken. So the original idea was it would just delete the item, and that's that's where Drazimo and I were kind of thinking, like, yeah, okay, then it's gone. But actually Gambit's done something better than that. Of course he has. <laughs> um, and he's made it so that sacrificial fuel. If the player wants to dump it on the ground now, they can, absolutely. Just chuck it away, uh, just like any other item. But it does give that opportunity for that mechanic to be taken forward. And you say, well, okay, well, they can drag around that sacrificial shield or that shield that's broken. Now, it's not a magic item. It's just a shield. So you could rename it and just call it shield and have all of your shields function in this way if that's what you wanted. But they can walk around with this broken shield until they get a chance to repair it. So you might say, you know, they can repair it as part of a long rest or... Um, you want them to use their, their tools, either their smithing tools or woodworking tools, depending on the shield and things like that. So I really like that idea. Now, this is not a mechanic that I have used or kind of intend to use in my games. Um, but if I did, that's definitely what I would be doing. It's like, yeah, yeah, you can carry around. Your shield's lost its effectiveness because it's split or it's so badly bent that it's it, you can't use it in the way that you normally would. It's, it's pretty much non-functional. Um, but you can, yeah, get a hammer out and beat it back into shape when you get back to camp or back to town or... 
uh, you can do whatever you like with that. So it's really quite nifty. Um, do notice, of course, because it's a sacrificial shield, it's now broken, it has automatically um, removed it from being equipped and our armor class automatically dropped as well. So it's a really nice little extra bit of automation if you want that kind of item in there. So, yeah, that's available if you want to use it. And, of course, you know, there's lots of other items that Gambit's already done for various people and, and stuff like that. Uh, if I right-click on this and edit, what's really, really useful, of course, is this is going to tell us how it works. So, look, source item must be equipped to activate these, okay, because that we can't activate that ability on a broken item, which makes sense. So let's get the... Uh, let's get the... Uh, there we go. Let's get the original item back out there. That works. And if we go to, and again, we can just equip that again if we want to. If we edit it, we can look at what actually makes this pump in the background. So it does say here it requires MIDI QOL DAE. Well, that's, that's not a shock, is it? <laughs> because it's part of automation. Um, but we can look at some of these details and say, well, look, this is there's nothing really going on here. Um, we have an effect. Um, there's not an awful lot here. But most of this in the effect is if we go to the changes, all this is really doing, the effect is saying, hey, run this macro. So on use macro name, we're going to run item macro is hit. So that's all it's doing. And much more importantly, it's the, the the dime part, which is the macro effect here. This is what's doing the work here, and this is why some of these things. It's like unless you really know the flags and the how to do the the. I know it's relatively simple coding, but if you don't know any coding, it's way beyond your level of able to do. So. You can look at this and go right let's see how this works and we can see this is saying things like hang on a minute is hit and the workflow is a critical so this is clearly where it's saying about you know checking to see if the character is hit and if it's a critical hit it's pulling from midi so you can see you know it's going to pop up this dialogue here um, which is called it's got a title in it sacrificial shield uh, obviously, you know, this is pulling in GPS dialogue containers and stuff. So it's pulling in all Gambit's um, particular look. Would you like to destroy the shield to prevent a critical hit? So if you wanted to change that wording, you're just changing it in the macro there. So you can do that if you wish to. A um, couple of buttons. Yes. You know, and what happens if you click yes, then it's going to do this stuff. Workflow is critical. False. So that's the bit that says, if you say yes, it's going to say, well, that critical hit is no longer a critical hit. It tells MIDI to change its mind and flip that back. And then it will go on to, to do its other bit. So let the actor, um, well, I'm not really sure what some of this bits means, but um, the item macro name cracks from the heavy impact, but protects its wearer from a critical hit. Boom. Uh, and this is that little message here we can see on the chat window to the right. The sacrificial shield cracks from the heavy impact. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and then it will go off and do its next thing. So await it macro item update. The system equipped false. So it's de-equipping de it. And its name is changing to broken. Hurrah! Now the other option, if you don't say yes and you say no, it uh, just goes okay and just carries on. <laughs> so just by looking at some of these items you go well that's similar to what I wanted to do now you control the internet you control um, all of um, of discord and find and work these things out yourself but sometimes it's really nice to say look here is an item that does something really similar to what I want uh, you could turn this into a sacrificial helmet or or anything else that you wanted to do because it's it's this that's powering it this macro so Really, really good way to learn. Uh, and because it's Gambit's pre-made, if you mess it up, you just bring it in again from Gambit's pre-made. So it's a really nice way to learn. Just go in, fiddle, and have a play with it. Um, I've got my blood splats all over the place here. I've been beating the hell out of this little elf for a while. So I just thought I wanted to share that with you. Um, that Yeah, we can do some really cool stuff. And just because it's not part of the core, um, doesn't mean it can't be done. So just be aware that that's now out there. 
And uh, if you're using Gambit's pre-mades, it's there. You can use it. It's it's now available. Anyway, that was it. Take care, everybody. I will see you in the next one.